Hello 7th graders, welcome to our channel Aglasem. This is Rohit from Aglasem and I am here to solve the questions of history. Chapter is 2, New Kings and Kingdoms with you. So first of all, I would suggest you to make notes as well so that you do not forget the key points which we will discuss about in this video. In this chapter, the main focus is on how the new dynasties emerged and what was the state of India under these dynasties. So the first question is, match the following. In this question, we have to match the rulers to their respective kingdoms or the region where they ruled. Gujarat Pratiharas goes with Gujarat and Rajasthan. Rashtrakutas with Western Deccans, Palas to Bengal and the Cholas to Tamil Nadu. So the next question is question number two. Who were the parties involved in Trepatite struggle? So the answer is, as you know, all the ruling dynasties were based in a specific region. They tried very hard to control the other areas as well to grow their kingdoms. And one such area was the city of Kanauj in the Ganga Valley for centuries. The ruler belonging to Gurjara Pratiharas, Rashtrakutas and Pala dynasties fought for control over Kanauj because there were three parties in the long drawn conflict. Historian described it as the tripetite struggle. So the next question is question number three. What were the qualifications necessary to become a member of committee of a Sabha in the Cholas Empire? Now, to the answer this question, first let us discuss about Sabha. What was mean by Sabha? The Sabha had different committees which looked after temples, garden, irrigation works, etc. And the members of the Sabha were not easily selected. As we know from the given inscription from Uttar Mayur and Chingalpur district, Tamil Nadu to become a member of the Sabha, one must possess the following qualities or things. The first is a land from which land revenue was collected, a private home, must be of 35 to 70 years of age, must possess the knowledge of the Vedas, must be honest and experienced in administrative matters. So let's come to question number four. So the question number four is what were the two major cities under the control of Chahamanas? So the two major cities controlled by Chamanas was Delhi and Ajmer. Do you know that Chamanas were later known as Chauhan and the best known Chamanas ruler were Prithviraj III 1168 to 1192 who defeated an Afghan ruler named Sultan Muhammad Ghori in 1191. Although he lost to him in the very next year in 1192. Now let's come to question number five. How did the Rashtrakutas become powerful? So our answer will be, as you know that after the 7th century, there were a big landlords of various chiefs in different regions of subcontinents. The various chiefs were the people of importance to the kings. Hence, they were acknowledged as their subordinates or Samantas as Samantas grain, power and wealth. They declared themselves to be Maha Samantas, Maha Mandaleshwara, the great lord of circle or region. So the Rashtrakutas of the Deccan gained the power in the following way. The first point is, they were initially subordinate to Chalukyas of Karnataka. The second is, in the mid 8th century, chief of Rashtrakuta, Dandi Durga, overthrew his Chalukya overlord and performed a ritual called Hiranya Garva, which gave him the title of Kshatriya even if he was not one by birth. So the third point is when they gain power and wealth, they declare themselves independent from their overload. Next point is they fought with Gujra Pratiharas and Pala dynasty fought for control over Kannauj to demonstrate their power. This is how they rose to power. So the next question is what did the new dynasties do to gain acceptance? So your answer will be, as we know from this chapter that dynasties did many things to gain control over any region. The key elements were, they used military welfare in order to curve out an independent kingdom, assuming of new grantoids titles and performance of various religious rituals for being accepted with the Kshatriya fold. Now let's come to question number seven. What kind of irrigation work were developed in Tamil region? So your answer will be, in Tamil region, the development of irrigation work means that first, the well were dug in several areas and tank were built in order to collect rainwater. Forests were cleared on a large scale and the land were leveled. 
Next point is embankment were built in the delta region in order to prevent flooding and canals were built so that water could be transported to the field. Now let's talk about question number 8. What were the activities associated with Chola's temple? So the answer will be, do you know that Chola temple are architectural and scriptural marvels? They become the main attraction of the city of settlement which grew around them. The main features of the temple were, temples were centers of craft production like making bronze images. Second point is, temples were also indulged by land by rulers as well as by others. Third point is, the produce of land went for maintaining all the specialities who worked at the temples and very often lived near it like priests, garland makers, cooks, sweepers, musicians, dancers, etc. In other words, temples were not only place of worship, they were the hub of economic, social and cultural life. Amongst the craft associated with temples, the making of bronze images was the most distinctive. So now let's come to the next question that is find out more about taxes that are collected at present. Are these in cash, kind or labor service? So the answer will be, do you know that the inscriptions of the Cholas who ruled in Tamil Nadu contains reference to more than 400 terms of different kinds of taxes? Can you imagine the plight of people who used to pay 400 taxes? Today, we pay a number of taxes are as follows. Property tax, road tax, service tax, house tax, entertainment tax, water tax, sales tax, etc. These taxes are in cash, not in kind, nor in labor services. So these were all the answers to the questions of chapter 2, New Kings and Kingdoms. In case you have any doubt or queries related to chapter 2, feel free to write it in the comment section below. For more academic support, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon below. Thank you.